We recording? So there's this project going on on Hit Record called The Impossible Dream. It's sort of about those things that we all have in our lives, whether they're personal or professional or any number of things that you would love to make happen, but they just seem impossible. This idea is sort of inspired by this movie I'm in called The Walk, which is a true story about a man named Philippe Petit who hung a high wire between the two towers of the World Trade Center in 1974 and walked on that high wire. And obviously this is a dream that he had, this brilliant idea that must have seemed impossible, but he did it anyway. So people have been contributing videos talking about their own impossible dreams. And then the community on our site have been sort of rallying around these dreamers and offering encouragement in all sorts of ways. So right now we're gonna tell a story of one such dreamer who on the site goes by the name of Buttercup. My impossible dream. This is my dream. So my impossible dream. My dream. My impossible dream is Lena Buttercup on Hit Record and I live in Germany and my impossible dream is to go to New Zealand. <laughs> I always, always wanted to see New Zealand um, in person. It would be probably breathtaking and I like to see Café Cove and in Wellington there's this cafe called Fidel's Café. I just really like to sit in Fidel's Café and drink tea or water or whatever and be in New Zealand. That's just like, that's my impossible dream. So a lot of people dream of traveling. Germany to New Zealand, that's a far trip, but nowadays we have jet planes and everything. It's something that's doable. But uh, for Buttercup, there's sort of an extra hurdle. Um, I have Asperger's syndrome and it's okay. Um, I mean, everyone else has their back to carry too. When I first watched Lena's video, I just thought this person is telling nothing but the truth. I don't know if that's the Asperger's or that's just how she is, but it really made me admire her a lot. Honesty is, to me, one of the greatest virtues, and uh, I wanted to see her accomplish her dream. Now, why New Zealand, you may ask? My love for New Zealand started with the tribe, and the tribe is this very great TV series. Not great, it's awesome. It's the best series in the world. <laughs> It is, and it all takes place in New Zealand. And the thing is, um, the creator of the tribe, um, Raymond Thompson, he has Asperger's syndrome too, so I feel like that he can make like this awesome sh TV series that people still love, then maybe I can go see New Zealand. So I travel all the time, and I probably do it in just about the cushiest circumstances. <laughs> that you can really hope for. And even for me, traveling sucks, it's stressful. So I can only imagine how hard it is for Buttercup. What's difficult for me is I'm getting the train to get to the airport. I look like a rush deer, like Bambi only. Not cute, just very, very nervous. That's stressful for me because of all the people and smells and, so and especially the sounds. I'm very sensitive to that because I can't just... Um, if it's too many sounds, I just... I'm like, <clears throat> help. <laughs> A lot of different people on the site sympathized with Buttercup's travel anxiety and uh, had some advice. Hi, Lena. Greetings from Seattle, Lena. I travel quite a bit. I think the best piece of advice I could give you is to bring a really sturdy bag. This kind of pillow to help you maybe to sleep in the plane. Doing a lot of research, just knowing as much as you can about the area that you want to go to. Hi, Lena. I, um, I saw your video and I had to respond. I have Asperger's too. And I've learned some things that might be helpful. First off, Germany to New Zealand is a really long flight. It's like 23 hours. Maybe you should practice by taking some shorter trips just to get used to the idea of flying. Maybe that will help. It's interesting to tackle an airport and a new country and something completely foreign with everything that's going on in your head. Um, but there are things that I do when I go to the airport. You break it down into little pieces. Instead of viewing it this big, huge thing as I'm gonna travel halfway across the world, I'm gonna go to the airport. I'm going to check in. 
I find my gate. Once I'm there, I can get my bearings. I always bring a book with me and a journal. My iPod comes with me everywhere I go. Any small thing you can control makes uh, an uncontrollable situation with so many variables a little bit easier. When Buttercup saw Jordan's video, she had this to say. Jordan, the girl, she trained only on Wednesday and she has Asperger's too. It just gives me so much hope that I could be one day be as cool as you and could go on so many adventures. And so Buttercup decided to take some trips. I want to go to New Zealand so much, <laughs> but um, it's so far away. And in the meantime, I need to practice traveling by taking smaller trips. And tomorrow, 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 I'm taking my first step and I'm going to France. Oh wow, but it's okay. Good luck. Bye. Mm. Ooh. I was nervous, but I used Jordan's advice and it helped me in the airport and train. Hey! <laughs> Welcome, welcome to France. When I went to France, we went to see this big, beautiful elephant <laughs> who is like this machine. There was a place with a vintage foot mat, and I met my friend Sio from Hit Record and got our photo taken. Bonjour, it's because I'm in France. Go Buttercup, go Buttercup. Et félicitations pour ton voyage ici en France. And my second practice trip, I'm going for the weekend to London. To be or not to be? Hey guys, I'm here to pick up Lena at Heathrow Airport. At the British Museum, they showed my favorite movie, The Princess Bride. <laughs> Self-confidence isn't big to begin with, but traveling makes me feel stronger. I love seeing other people from Hit Record greeting Buttercup in the new places she was going. I know for me, having a friendly face greet you when you're somewhere new makes a huge difference. So the practice voyages were a grand success. But obviously, Germany to New Zealand is a much greater journey than journey to France or England. I have something to show you. I made a New Zealand pin board. I made a ticket to New Zealand until I have a real one in my hands. Here's a lucky sheep because there's many sheep in New Zealand. And not the forest put the song on hit record called The Friendly Skeleton. The skeleton that's under my bed is talkative although he's dead. This song is full of very inspirational stuff. Here's a quote Do it now instead of later. Do it now instead of later. It makes it easier to face the world. <laughs> Hello, Metaphorist here. I sing and play guitar. I've been on Hit Record for six years now, and one of the very first people that I got to know was Buttercup. When I heard Buttercup say that my song, My Friendly Skeleton, was an inspiration to her, that was just the sweetest thing. I mean, that's what you want as a musician. The Friendly Skeleton character in the song is basically a metaphor for our mortality. We'll all be skeletons one day, but until then we should live life to the fullest and don't let fear hold us back. That's the message of the song. So since Buttercup loved Metaphorist's song so much, a whole bunch of artists on the site decided to turn it into this animated short film and give Buttercup something to watch and have to envision her dream while she's still working towards it. And coincidentally, a lot of the contributing artists on this project were actually from New Zealand. Total coincidence. Right? It's a total coincidence. Yeah. Total coincidence. Hello from New Zealand. Hey, Buttercup. Hi, Buttercup. Tinderlock's here. My name's Josie Smith. I'm Soji Shots. I'm from Auckland, New Zealand. So we're making an animation where you get to come here to New Zealand. You get to visit some of your favorite places such as Cathedral Cove and Fidel's Cafe in Wellington. And that's where you'll get to meet some of the characters from your favorite TV show, The Tribe. So this is my little studio. <laughs> come on in. This is my messy desk. And here's a bit of Whangarei, New Zealand, where I live, out the window. Got instruments. 
This is my drawing board. I'm very, very honoured to be doing the key illustrations. It's quite scary drawing someone. You don't know how they're going to react to it. <laughs> so in New Zealand, we've got this government house called the Beehive, and it's called the Beehive, obviously, because of its shape and everything. My role in the project is audio producer for the song itself, incorporating all the amazing contributions from the community. So these are all just line drawings, which I scanned into my computer, and through Photoshop, I just added the colors and textures. I used watercolors to paint this, and then other people collaborated and put it in a scenery. As I'm a Kiwi, I'm a little biased in saying that New Zealand is the most beautiful place to want to go visit. Got a nice view here, a lot of greenery, a lot of sheep, horses, birds, anything you can name, because it's New Zealand and it's magical. I hope that you like the animation that we make for you and that it, it gives you a lot of inspiration to make your impossible dream come true. And now we are proud to present a music video about Buttercup and her impossible dream of going to New Zealand. This is called The Friendly Skeleton. I didn't even dare to dream that that I could do it and now it's like I can't wait to, to pack all my bags and fly to New Zealand and and it's all because of your kindness and encouragement and like um this is my heart and I just want to say that all of you have one big 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 room in it. Um I feel so lucky and grateful to have you all by my side or something like that, I'm sorry. I just mean, mm, thank you. I wish I was a Kiwi. Good avocados in New Zealand.